Hi everybody, this is Safety Thomas. This is Mary Thomas of Thomas Thomas and Thomas PC, also known as the Sales Tax Sisters. And we wanted to talk about a few, a couple different things today that has been, uh, have been, I won't say they've been pressing on me, but I think it's something that people need to be aware of. One is if you are selling um, something and you're sending it out to your customers and you're charging them for a freight. Here in Texas, the taxability treatment of the freight is um, the same as the taxability treatment of what it is you're selling. So if you're selling something that is uh, taxable, like, um, you know, a pen or uh, office supplies, office supplies or something like that, then the 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 freight charge is going to be taxable if those are taxable items. Now, freight is funny because in a lot of jurisdictions, that general rule of thumb works, but there are some jurisdictions where it doesn't. Exactly. Some jurisdictions, they have different, they have different ways of determining whether or not freight is taxable. I think in one jurisdiction, the, the rule is that if the person actually has the option of coming to get the item themselves, then you get, then that throws it into another category. It may not be taxed. You need to look at whatever state you're dealing with mm -hmm. and, and use that to figure out whether or not you should be charging tax on freight. Some states, Texas being one of them, has the rule of if what you're buying, and we stick with office supplies, if you're buying office supplies and office supplies are taxable, then the associated freight is also taxed. Mm -hmm. And if you somebody gives you an exemption or resale certificate for something and they're not and you're not charging them sales tax on whatever they're purchasing here in Texas, you wouldn't charge them tax on the freight either. Exactly. So and there's a difference between freight and handling. Yes, and shipping and handling. Yes. In, in different jurisdictions. Some jurisdictions treat those things differently. Some tax one and not the other. Uh -huh. Some tax both. So when you're coming up with the way that you are, depending on what you're selling, the way that you name something has can have a sales tax consequence, a sales and use tax consequence. Go in to that jurisdiction's library and see what it is. Most states, if you go into a state taxing jurisdiction's website and you put in it's freight taxable, it's usually a frequently asked question. Yeah, and they usually have publications about it too. If it's a little exactly. bit more complex, they have publications that'll help you. And we, and within the and oh, let me say this okay. and within an audit context, freight can eat your lunch. It can, and it's important that you know the correct taxability treatment of freight as well as shipping and handling charges. And it's important enough that don't don't just call up a, a Department of Revenue or Controller's office and talk to somebody. You want to have something in writing. And when I say something in writing, the tax code, a publication, something you can hang your hat on. Not that I talked to June on on uh, you know October thirtieth, and she told me at eight o'clock that I don't need to charge tax and freight. They will laugh you out of town if that's not correct. Okay. So make sure you have something, if the tax code, a reference, something in writing that you can hang your hat on in case you ever get audited. And there was a quick tip that we did a couple weeks ago on our um, on our website. If you're not if you're not subscribe if you're not a subscriber to our newsletter, um, head over to our website. I hate saying that all the time. You can subscribe and you get the newsletter too. But and it's a very short little newsletter. But in Texas, the control issued a policy that said COVID fees are taxable. So if you are buying something and you know somebody charges you that uh, upcharge. An upcharge which like, is like a surcharge. Yeah, like a restaurant or something, because that's when I'm thinking you would hit a COVID fee is if yeah. you're going to a restaurant or something like that, then suffers taxable. If the if if and I'm thinking now they put that out and said that that COVID fee was taxed, but now that I'm sitting here thinking about it, I'm like, you know, I'm thinking that follows the same thing as the freight, where if the underlying thing was taxable, then you charge that. Yeah, I think you're right. It but is. 
if that's not the, if that's not the case then what I'll do is I will put a little note in the notes section to this video to let you know yeah but uh it it I think it, it follows the same I would think it would too um, taxability treatment a freight too. here in Texas which is if what you're buying is taxable that COVID surcharge is going to be taxable, taxable too as well yeah so just keep all of that in mind so those are things that were pressed on us and we wanted to let y'all know about it if we, every time I say y'all it just sounds so southern um, but uh, if you have any questions or anything you want us to talk about please let us know in the comment section we love getting feedback from people um, and if you want something more specific um, contact us anything else you want to say no no okay well we wish everybody a great day thanks for clicking on the video if you subscribe we really really appreciate it and if you like what you saw thumb us up have a great day everybody and stay safe